My name is Christopher Lee Brown doing the Fun the Movie Kingdom World and welcome back to my channel. Also this is my first time doing YouTube doing video on this channel with with a buzz cut and clean shaven. So like my new look. Okay, in this video I'll be talking about Toy Story 5. If you don't know me this is why I'll get better with me, like I said on this channel, I'm not good with off the cuff and pop two type of stuff. That's why I always have a script with me so I know what I want to say. So get better with me. Like going up like if you haven't watched my first ever video, that's where you get my background in movies. And like that in that video and a couple times on this channel, like I just watched when I was growing up in my childhood years and throughout my teen years. I just watch movies for the fun of it. Just watch movies, see how it unfolds, how it it unfolds, and let the chips fall the well they may. So, and one of the movies that I guess resonates with me is obviously kid stuff, and I grew up watching kind of kid movies, kid shows. Especially in Nickelodeon Disney Channel. I grew up with that era. And I was born in 1997, so the mid 2000s, late 2000s, Nickelodeon Disney Channel, so channel shows relate, relate to me the most. So, and one of the movies that I watched few, definitely multiple times was animated stuff like Toy Story. I um, definitely love the first three Toy Story movie, movies. The, Leon Stitch movie, Monsters Inc., Finding Nemo, the definitely in the first Shrek movie. Saw all the all the Shrek movies in the theaters. Then saw the those two Puss in Boots movies, so I don't have no thoughts on the Puss in Boots movie. Or the rest of the Shrek franchise besides the first one. But that being said, the Toy Story 3, the Movies, the anime movie that resonated the most, that I watched the most, was the Toy Story franchise. I mean, I've definitely watched, here's my ranking as, as of right now, I guess, besides the Lightyear movie that came out last year, which I saw, I enjoyed it a little, I actually enjoyed it a little bit. It was definitely a good movie, sorry in 3D, but, is, fourth is Toy Story 4, three is Toy Story Two, the first three is definitely a damn great movies in my opinion. Second is the original one, the first Toy Story, and the first one is Toy Story three, and that's the first Toy Story movie I saw in theaters. I saw on my on my birthday, so I was born on June eighteenth. So it was really, definitely the first three was naming the most. Here's the problem with Toy Story 4. I, I get that all some fans and things like definitely top two tier of the Toy Story films. But here's the problem: is it? I I know uh, it's kind of it's kind of like the same same shit over and over again. In the fourth one, kind of words. Like I said, I'm not good with forming words or making proper sense. That's just me. That's my learning disability. But then definitely the reason why Toy Story 3 is here's the problem with Toy Story 4. I I enjoyed it on the second watch. I watched it I watched Toy Story 4 in the theaters when it came out the day after the Child's Play remake came out. But the problem with Toy Story 4, like, not as soon as, it doesn't, it feel like they are milking it for the, because it's a proper, and definitely a proper IP. Like, the franchise is worth over a billion dollars. It's definitely one of the top 20 highest grossing movie franchises, I think. It's around that range. But... Like, feel, uh, Toy Story 5 now feel like they're definitely milking it. It's the same shit, like, what is it going to be about? 
you milk the the toys. Because I'm also going to add on like what well, well, I do if I want to do toys only five. So it doesn't feel like they're milking it. Yeah, I know Light Year was kind of milking it, but I kind of like the premise of what they did to that movie. And overall, overall it was a good experience, but... Um, like, I know like, I'm a big Halloween fan and some a big Halloween franchise movie fan. Because, like, majority of the movies are the same stuff over and over again. Like, probably with different brutalities and different setups and all that, but the same stuff. I get it's a slasher film. But, maybe because I do have nostalgia for it. Now I know what people feel like when they want to make another Halloween movie with, with Michael Myers and Lois Road. I get that. Maybe because I have more nostalgia as Toy Story since I grew up as a kid watching it. Toy Story, I don't know what Toy Story I always watch the most. I know Toy, the first two Toy Stories, when I always go to my childhood dentist, they always back in the room they, when you're giving your teeth done. They says back and up like on the ceiling was movies or Disney Channel that I was playing. And if it's like usually a movie, it was always like, Toy Story, the first two Toy Stories, or Lino Stitch, or Finding Nemo, those is, was Disney stuff. But, I just don't know, but like, I feel like they're milking it. Like, the Toy Story felt like, for me, Toy Story 3 was a perfect ending. N enough said. I, was, I, know, I know people were saying, oh, the first. Mm, the third one is, the ending is, is concludes the Andy and the kids conclusion arc, story arc. But the, in the fourth one is, in, is concluding Woody's arc. Like, the heart and soul about Toy Story is the kid and the toys. That's it. And then it makes no sense, then, like, because the end of Toy Story. Three, what he before Woody goes to college, he wasn't really does didn't want to give up his Woody, his first ever. I think it was his first his first ever toy. I think it was, but like he gives up then to this little girl that I feel like he doesn't even know to a fucking stranger that he, he probably barely even knows. And then, and then Toy Story 4, um, that little girl doesn't want to play with Woody. Like, so what's the fucking point? Like, the movie's actually good. That was, was part, out of the four films, probably the most funniest one. There were some really good moments in that movie. There were some things I would have done. Maybe hopefully one day I will review, actually review all the movies. But, who knows. But... Like, it makes no sense. Like, what is this going to be about, really? Because I know they're all mm, coming back. Like, this is what I would have done. Make, mm, I know that I kind of did this with the Halloween film franchise, with what I would do next with the Halloween franchise. But I would make it like a Toy Story Presents or Toy Story Chronicles, like an anthology movie. Like, it's Toy Story Chronicles, Whatever the title, tagline, or the title they want to call it after Toy Story Chronicles or Toy, Toy Story's Blank, level. Because that's what I would do. I'm, I think that's the best way to go if you want to keep making the Toy Story movies. Like, having in the Toy Story world where the toys come to life being animatronic or, or am, there was something... Am, I forgot what it's called, but I don't know the animatronics, because, oh, whatever that word is, but I would make it some toys so we'll have a new group of toys, maybe borrow toys from Hasbro, and then create up some new t type of toys, and have, maybe, I know it's going to have to be a little 
tacked on and kind of the same stuff over and again with a different kid, but make it like modern, like make it like modern, like maybe an AI toys, something like that, make it like a little bit modern for the modern generation and audience, something like that. But like having like the Toy Story gang back again, like what's it gonna be about? It's, it's more milkier than than my stuff was, I guess said. But maybe it's nostalgia purposes, like maybe because like Toy Story, I maybe I have more fond and most nostalgia with kid stuff that stuff I grew up like as a kid, not a teen, like. The whole stuff I got into as a teen, but as a kid, was kids stuff like Toy Story, Shrek, Leon Stitch, stuff from that old from Disney Channel, and Nickelodeon, all that stuff. I grew up as that. That's my. That's like my stuff that I was passionate about when I was a kid. Not whole world, not movies. These cult classic movies. Some of them are cult classics like the Toy Story franchise, but like I'm I just can't explain it. Like I said, I'm not good at words. That's why I always scream my shit so I, I always know like what I want to say and how to say it. But like yes, yeah, so I probably will go and go see it, but like it feels like like really can you do something better than stuff like the gang's all back again for no reason. Is any out of college? Like, I just don't know. Like, maybe the reason why I'm more forgiving with the like whole stuff like Nightmare on Street, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Halloween, Friday the 13th, maybe because I. I didn't actually grew up as a kid watching them religiously as stuff that I mentioned in this video. But that's how I feel. Like if you feel differently comment down below. Like like is Toy Story feel a bad film? No. I as why now I'll probably give it the definitely the fourth film only on digital. But not on physical media because I feel like that's the probably the best way to clue, conclude the Toy Story full. Um and it's kind of hinted at, like, uh, I can't say what it's going. And for me, it feels like it's un unnecessary, in my opinion. It feels unnecessary. It's like, it doesn't conclude Toy Woody Zark, in my opinion. Doesn't, for me. I, I can. That's for me, that's not the heart and soul of the Toy Story franchise. For me, it's not. The turn. The heart and soul for the Toy Story franchise is, is for me a kid with his toys and that's it. I know like, I think it was Bonnie the little girl who got introduced in Toy Story 3 and was the character of the, the, of the toys in Toy Story 4 but I don't know. Maybe because I'm more nostalgic to Stuff that I watched as a kid than stuff I watched as a teen. I'm more forgiving probably on that stuff. But that's how I feel. So comment down below how you feel. So that will be it for today's video. Remember to comment down below, share this video, hit the thumbs up button, sus subscribe to the notification bell button, and follow my Facebook group at Media Fandom Kingdom Land. And that will be it for today's video. And remember, good vibes only.